Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at the evolution of Team Spearmint Piston Cup Racers from the Cars Trilogy. Two versions of Ernie Gearson, Cars 1 and Cars 3, and Nick Shift from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> Throughout the years of the Piston Cup racing series, there had there has been a number a generate I mean a generation of team spearmint racers that bears the traditional color blue and the and the traditional racing team number 93 when car when the cars franchise was first launched in 2006 the spearman team was introduced with the acquisition of Ernie Gearson then later on one Came a, no, came a new spearmint racer, Nick Shift, in Cars 3. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review for each one of them. First, we're going to start off with Ernie Gearson, the first spearmint racer on screen. So... <clears throat> Ernie Gearson is a Husker Morocco, similar to Claude Scruggs, who began racing for the Spearman team in the Piston Cup from the 1970s and 1980s. And was one of the racers to participate in the 2000, in the Dynaco 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway at the South, and during the race, he was one of the racers to get involved in the multi car wreck caused by Chick Hicks, and was able, however, despite getting involved into the wreck, he was able to finish the race, and during his diecast releases, he was released as a single and in a a three pack with his crew chief and pity who I unfortunately don't have either of those two and and that's all I and and in a multi pack and now without any but the the details of his later appearances on that later. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his blue paintwork, black grill, white number 93, and on the hood we've got the Spearmint logo, and on, and on both sides, we've got his exhaust pipes, spearmint logo, gas cap, white rims on the black wall light year racing tires, and white number 93 on a green leaf. Several contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octagain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retreading Clutch Aid. And on the top, we have a white number 93 on a green leaf, no name signature. And on the trunk, Spearmint logo and blue ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we have the Spearmint logo in the middle, white number 93, the green leaves on the back bumper, and no taillight stickers on the back, and no headlight stickers on the front. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar made in China, Mattel. And that is it for Cars 1 Ernie Gearson. 
Up next is Ernie Gerson in his Cars 3 attire. So, anyhow, <clears throat> during his, I mean, between 2006 and 2015, Ernie Gerson had some type of surgery and went into a new body resembling a Capital Motors Mark II, similar to Cal Weathers, which the same treatment went with Dirksen Diego Stino, Todd Marcus, Ernie, Darren Lightfoot, Murray Clutchburn, Floyd Mulvihill, Punchy Wipeout, and Ralph Carlo, who I unfortunately don't have, which is the Cars 3, Ralph Carlo. So I'm still desiring Cars 3 Ralph Carlo. Then in 2016, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco Light 350 at the motor of the 2016 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway at the South and other races throughout the rest of the season. Then, then later on, on he got he was one when next gen racers started dominating the piston cup circuit in l of the late season of 2016 he got displaced by his sponsor Spearmint in favor of a next gen racer more on that later and during his diecast releases he was released as a single and in multi packs and now without any further ado Let's dig right into the review. No. Well, here we have his worried facial expression, his black grill, working headlights, white number 93 at the bottom, his blue paintwork, aqua blue paintwork, the spearmint logo on the hood, and the light shade of blue on the top. And, a, and on both sides, we have his exhaust pipes, red arrow at the bottom, indicating a pity to lift him up. Spearmint logo, gas cap, white rims on the black wall light year racing tires, white number 93 on a green leaf, light year logo on front fenders, few contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitroade, Octane Gain, and Clutch Shade. And on the top, we have no name signatures. White number 93 on a green leaf. Spearmint logo on the trunk. The light blue ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we have the red working, working red taillights. Spearmint logo in the middle. And a camera in the middle as well. And on the back bumper, we have a white number 93. A green leaf. And two shades of blue. And on the undercarriage, it says Mattel. Disney slash Pixar, made in China. And that is it for Cars 3 Ernie Gearson. And last, but definitely not least, is Nick Shift from Cars 3. So, <clears throat> Nick Shift is a next-gen Piston Cup racer who replaced Ernie Gearson as the Spearmint racer with the number 93 for the Spearmint team in the Piston Cup. So, <clears throat> during his appearance in Cars 3, during the 2016 season, when Next Gen Racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he replaced Ernie Gearson as the Spearmint racer with the number 93 for the Spearmint team and made his Piston Cup debut in the Mood, sputter stop in Mood Springs 350 at, of the 2016 Piston Cup season at Georgia Motor Speedway. Then later on, he would go on to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway in February of 2017. He, would then, he then finished the race afterwards. And during his diecast releases, he was released only one time as a single for 2021 and hasn't received a single re-release ever since and during his diecast releases he was re I mean 
uh, did that already. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got his grumpy facial suspicious facial expression, his black grill, working headlights, and blue paintwork. And on the hood, we've got a next-gen Spearman logo with the words Spearman in blue and a bit of dark blue background with a blue snowflake. And on both sides, we've got the white number 93, light blue rims on the black wall next-gen Lightyear racing tires, the exhaust pipes and a black arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up, and a white leaf and snowflake and a blue background. And a few constituency logos saying Piston Cup. Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. And on the top, we've got the light blue low, light blue background and a dark blue number 93, no name signature. And we have the light blue flat spoiler. And on the back, we got the red working red taillights, and the and at the bottom, we have a light blue spearmint logo and a light blue number ninety three, and yellow rookie stripes, implying that he's a rookie. And on the undercarriage, it says "Made in Thailand, Disney slash Pixar, Mattel." And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which team Spearmint Racer is your favorite? Is it Car Ernie Gearson? Well, more specifically, Cars 1 version or Cars 3 version or both versions or Nick Shift? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below or on the voting poll in the community tab. And if you have enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!